morning guys so it is our final day in Malapascua quite a sad day we are leaving now to get up to um, where is it to Maya from Maya we get a bus which takes five hours all the way down to Cebu we're staying out in Cebu San Tropical West I think it is once we're there then we're gonna be flying out to Chiago tomorrow morning which I'm quite excited about spending four days there initially and if I like it, we're sp going to spend longer. So yeah, that's the whole plan at the moment. Um, really good stay here. Beds were basic, but it's really nice. I'm um, quite sad to leave this pool, beach and everything. So yeah, going to head through. Um, but yeah, good stay here. And let's uh, do another transit day of a lot of traveling. And we're on the Catamarang. Pretty, pretty cool. Had to pay. See a little boat going down there? Had to pay 20 pesos to get on. Um, 15 meters. Probably could have just walked it almost um, but we're on the cat's right now 100 pesos to get to Maya then we're gonna get a bus which is another 100 pesos luckily I have enough change that's one thing you must have when you're in, uh, in the Philippines make sure you've got change thousands do not last very long um, because they hardly have any change for it and for the last right. three hours it's about nine o'clock a bit more four hours we've been uh, traveling in this minivan <laughs> Yeah. Nice and squashed, everyone's in, no leg room. Um, it's the way that we got down 200 pesos when the bus costs 160 and this costs 200. It's, uh, it's kind of uh, a no brainer to just jump on one of these and take some quicker because uh, the bus stops everywhere. But a lot of traffic coming to Cebu, so we will be needing to get a taxi over to our hostel and uh, head from there. But beautiful view, skies, so I can't complain. Right, we have arrived at uh, Tropical West Hostel in Cebu Centre. Uh, the bus journey was okay, uh, well the coach, minivan, whatever you want to call it, was okay. Um, finally got it, I said, can you drop us off at 8pm more? He's like, no, ended up dropping us off there anyway, so it was only like a K walk to the hostel. Pretty sweet, we got. We only had a fan room, but they upgraded us to an aircon room. The aircon's right there, and it's loud, and they over there, it says behind me. But yeah, pretty decent, pretty cool, uh, a lot of helpful hits and tips. So right now I'm going to upload the vlog and then head down to SM City where I really need to get a GoPro case and a camera like bag for my DSLR. So yeah, got a couple things to get through, but finally here and off to Chicago. And we're in Cebu City. This is what it's like. It's just a really busy city, just different, uh, different type of people. So we're going to walk to SM Hall. I need to get a camera bag and GoPro. We're going to go to the food court, get some food there. Um, hopefully it's good and we also need to get a bunch of little presents that we are going to send home So yeah, looking forward to, to getting that sorted um, But yeah, Cebu so far, it's it's your typical busy city, a lot of stuff going on um, You know, there's a big mall up here, not much, but yeah, it's uh, it's nothing exciting at the moment You can get around a lot of the Visayas, which is the part of the Philippines I'm in, from Cebu So that's one of the plus sides so I've come through to the food court over in uh, SM City Mall and managed to get some goulash, some Filipino goulash. Oh, really good for 119 pesos, which is two pounds. So really happy we've got some spring rolls. I'm gonna tuck in and eat now. So my verdict of the food hall, really good food, thumbs up. Everything got demolished, really, really nice. Almost like a, a homemade stew. Sarah's got some lovely pasta, which is also good with some good garlic bread. So right now, the hunt is on to get a GoPro case and a camera bag case. So guys, we have gave in. We've gone to come to the cinema. We come to watch what's the movie we watching? Fantastic, Fantastic Beats. Beats. Where to find them? And we're going to be watching it at the IMAX. Sarah's never been to IMAX. She's never done 3D before, so quite excited for it. Going to get some chocolate, um, some popcorn, and some drinks right now. And yeah, head in through. So looking forward to watching the movie and enjoying a little bit of uh, like technology for a change. So this is the IMAX. Get some cool glasses. Oh, you can't see them. And that's the whole IMAX, massive screen. So yeah, look forward to the movie. And we are back from watching uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Really good film. Obviously a book written by J.K. Rowling following off from Harry Potter. Really happy with it. Cornetto. Hey guys, so we just got back to the hostel from uh, SM Mall. Pretty big mall. Managed to finally get a GoPro case for 40 pounds. Had to kind of splash out, so 2,400 pesos, which kind of sucked. Back next to the big machine. Just makes a lot of noise. Um, so yeah, watch the, what do we watch again? Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them. Pretty cool movie. Uh, give it an 8 out of 10. It's the whole J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter, and magic type scene. So it's really cool about that. Um, yeah, got back now. We are going to head to sleep in the next probably 25 minutes or so. Uh, got to be up pretty early. What's crazy is uh, Cornetto's here were only 20 pesos. Well, water like 14. Whereas back in 
the islands, it's almost like triple the price, so pretty happy we got that. But yeah, Sarah's gonna crash pretty quick, I bet you. And yeah, tomorrow we're off to Chiago. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.